Sustainable societies are those that embrace institutions, infrastructure, and lifestyles that meet current needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Sustainable techniques are gaining popularity throughout the United States with individuals and communities. In 2008, the U.S. Botanic Garden hosted the One Planet Hours exhibit to show examples of functioning green techniques that can be used in homes and businesses that will make our society more sustainable. In addition, many of these techniques can also help improve the health of our nation's waters. Sustainability is important to American cities because we're really using our resources at a rate far exceeding the ability for the planet to sustain us. We're really just using too much of the planet in order to live sustainably and, and comfortably for the next generation. One of the key elements of the exhibition is to show that emerging green techniques really can help us manage stormwater runoff in a much more sustainable manner. Some of the types of exhibits we have are rain gardens, green roofs, showcasing rain barrels, and all types of techniques to collect rainwater and reuse it. We've been very lucky to have over 40 partners from across the country to come together to talk to the public about things they can do to be more sustainable. One of the great things is, that has come out of this exhibition is a memorandum of understanding with the EPA Office of Water, where we're really trying to concentrate on green techniques and bringing those to the forefront of the public's attention and showing them what they can do at home. Our goal is really to mimic the natural water systems. We've done away with that natural water cycle through our construction and development. What we're really trying to do is take the water, slow it down, spread it out, and soak it in. Green techniques like rain gardens allow water to soak into the ground and be absorbed by plants. Instead of going into the storm sewer and having our downstream water resources polluted, rain gardens are very easy tools for soaking up and absorbing rainwater on site. A rain garden is a small depression, not terribly deep. Rain gardens catch runoff from rooftop downspouts, driveways, and other hard surfaces. They retain the water rather than just letting it run off site. By spreading that water out, slowing it down, and holding it for just a short while, we're letting it soak back in and, and replicating the natural processes. And they can be any size. They don't have to be huge. The first step in a rain garden is to, is to check your soil drainage. Ideally, the perfect situation is to have uh, about an inch of drainage per hour. We then will make a shallow depression. We'll take the soils that are in that depression and we will use them, we will mix the uh, compost and pine bark in those, just organic materials, so that we've got well-prepared, rich humus soil for the plants. Mixing in compost and other organic materials is critical to provide food for the plants and to improve the soil texture so that the water can soak in better. We chose the plants in this garden with a number of, of objectives in mind. We wanted flowers, we wanted textures, we wanted color. We wanted plants that are going to grow easily without a lot of care. We're also picking plants for specific environments. Um, the question of irrigation is a, is a big issue now. So in this garden, we selected plants that were going to be happy with the amount of water that we gave them. Now, if you combine that technique with other techniques like using rain barrels so that you're capturing water so that you can use it later in your garden, you can dramatically reduce the amount of water that's coming off of your property and do an awful lot to benefit the environment. Not only do rain gardens help absorb storm water, but they provide habitat for wildlife and improve the aesthetic value of homes and businesses. More than one green technique can be used to create a more effective multi-layered approach. Green roofs can be used with rain gardens to protect water quality by capturing and slowing down rooftop runoff. Green roofs also help cool our planet. The benefits of a green roof are numerous. Uh, the reduction of a building's energy needs, especially for air conditioning, increase in habitat, so reducing a, a footprint of a building, also reduction of pollutants from the uh, stormwater. But some of the things are benefits that often are overlooked, and one of those is the improvement in longevity of a roof. So if you take a day like today, here we are with the ambient temperature about 70 degrees, 
partly cloudy, and the temperature on the average roof is over 160 degrees. And as a result, those materials that are used, the traditional asphalt shingle, that material is expanding during the day, and when it cools down at night, that temperature is reducing. And so you have this expansion contraction combined with the UV of the sun, and that's why a 30-year shingle never lasts 30 years. By putting in a green roof, that actually prolongs the life. One of the main benefits to having a green roof is its potential to reduce the amount of stormwater runoff. In fact, many of our studies will show that during the summer in the Northeast, we can trap 100% of the stormwater runoff. Those benefits can continue throughout a calendar year, and so we find that overall, over 55% of the stormwater runoff can be trapped by a green roof. And what that does, in addition to decreasing the amount of water that's going off into our streams and causing flash floods, it also is trapping many of the pollutants that come with stormwater runoff. By going through a green roof such as this, the plants and more importantly the natural bacteria that are within the media will actually use that as a food resource. One of the questions we often receive is what type of buildings are best suited for green roofs? Really it's, it's wide open from residential to commercial to industrial applications. Rain barrels are an easy do-it-yourself green technique that collects rooftop runoff into a barrel. The tap and hose at the bottom of the barrel allow easy access to the water so that it can be used later to water your plants. Well, here you see at the EPA Greenscapes exhibit, they've got their uh, rain barrel attached to the downspout in the gutter. This collects the water during a rainstorm, stores it or slows it down so that it can be used later to water the garden in a dry spell. Typically you want to keep it accessible and you may just want to plant around it as in this case and allow the foliage of the plants to hide it. They're pretty widely available. You can look on the internet to find a local source. A lot of municipalities have them available for residents. You can also find them at do-it-yourself stores, hardware stores, and most garden centers carry them. Rain barrels are a very easy way for homeowners to save money on water bills, conserve water, and help protect the environment. Cisterns are very similar to rain barrels, but on a much larger scale. A cistern is a large storage tank designed to capture stormwater runoff from a building so that it can be later used for irrigation or other purposes. This cistern at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's headquarters building in Washington, D.C. can hold up to 6,000 gallons. In this case, the collected water is used for landscape watering. Installing green techniques at your home or business can help make our planet more sustainable by reducing the impacts associated with stormwater runoff. You can make a difference. These techniques that we've been talking about um, enable anyone to do something to make their community more sustainable, to protect the water resources, to address some of the larger uh, pollution issues that we have uh, um, to protect our waterways. These really are a beautiful solution to water pollution. To learn more about how you can incorporate these green techniques, visit the websites of both the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Botanic Garden.